Hey everyone, it's Colin here at eTrailer, and today we have a 2016 Mini Cooper. We're going to do a test fit of the Thule Wing Bar Evo roof rack system. Now this is a roof rack system that will mount to the naked roof of your hardtop Mini Cooper. This is going to allow you to get any of your favorite rooftop accessories loaded up here, whether you have a bike rack, kayak carrier, maybe even a small rooftop cargo box. Now up top we're going to have our 47 inch long Wing Bar Evo crossbars. These are going to be really nice and durable and they have a nice aerodynamic shape. That combined with the rubber stripping up top is going to help cut down on that wind noise and drag, especially when you compare it to a standard square or round bar roof rack system. Now with this rubber strip up top we can actually utilize T-Track accessories. We just flip over the cap like that and instead of pulling the rubber strip out and cutting it to length for our T-slot accessory, all we got to do is slide our accessory in between the two strips to our desired location, tighten it down, then we'll be good to go. Now as you can see our crossbars are black right now, but if you feel like silver would match your Mini Cooper better, well go ahead and check out our website, we have that option available. Now right here we have our Evo clamp feet for naked roofs. This is what's going to connect our crossbars to our roof. You can see we can take the end cap off, we can kind of see the fit kit a lot better. This fit kit is specially designed for the Mini Cooper. This has a nice rubber coated hook right here which latches under our door frame. You see it comes under our weather stripping right there. That rubber coated hook's not going to harm or scratch the finish of your Mini Cooper. And we have this nice thick rubber pad underneath our clamp foot that's going to provide a really nice solid surface to make contact with and to secure it. And you can see how it matches the contours of our roof very well to ensure a very snug fit. Now I'll put the end cap back on our clamp foot. What you can see is that we have a plastic lock right here. We can replace that with the Thule lock core system. That'll provide more security for your roof rack so no one can just walk up and remove your end cap and then take your roof rack. Now I do want to provide you guys with a few measurements. First from the top of our roof to the bottom of our wing bar is going to be three inches. There should be more than enough space to get your clamp on accessories underneath your wing bar without risking damaging the top of your roof. Now if we go from the top of our roof to the top of our wing bar, it's going to be four inches. You want to keep that in mind for any low clearance situations that you have that height added to your roof. Although with the Mini Cooper, you're rarely going to ever find yourself in a low clearance situation. And as you can see, the space under our crossbar is more than enough to open up the sunroof of our Mini Cooper. So we can still utilize that feature if we wish. Now you're going to have a 220 pound weight capacity on your Evo roof rack system, but you do want to make sure you double check with your Mini Cooper's owner's manual. Make sure your roof can handle that weight. Now that we've gone over some of those features, let's show you guys how to get this installed on your roof. Now I'll go ahead and show you how to get the rear crossbar assembled. The front and the rear one are going to be the exact same process. So we have it partially assembled right here. What we'll do is flip our crossbar over and we'll take the end cap off. Just push it on that tab right there and you can kind of wiggle your end cap off. Now we're just going to get our Evo clamp foot ready. We have our nice rubber pad right here. You can kind of see how the shape of the pad and the bracket right here match. So we'll go ahead and get that planted on there. In your instructions, they are numbered. The pads and clamps, it specifies which placement on the car it should go, such as front right, front left. There's gonna be a number on the pad right there. But for our Mini Cooper, they're all gonna be the same number, so you don't have to worry about it too much. But you do wanna make sure that you get the correct rubber coated hook in place. There's going to be numbers on the rubber coated hooks right underneath right there. It may be hard to see it on camera, but if you just get the light shining on it when you have this at your house, then you're gonna be able to get it installed. So all we're gonna do is feed it into the bracket, push up till it locks into place. Tug on it a few times to make sure it's locked. Now we're gonna come over to the side of our crossbar. What we're gonna do is push in on our two silver buttons right here. They're just going to unlock the channel lock up here. You can see when I push in on it, how it comes up. Just like that. So we'll push in and slide it in the channel. We already have our scale right here set to 26 and a half. We're going to move this over until it butts up against the scale. So as soon as we make contact, we'll let go. It's locked into place. Just take our end cap, put that back on. Now we're ready to get it on our roof. Now with both rear doors open, we'll stretch our roof rack across. Just get it set into place. Now part of our instructions, our crossbar spread needs to be 27 and a half inches for it to fit properly. So we'll measure from the front of our 
back wing bar to the front of our front wing bar, 27 and a half inches. We'll make sure to get that even on both sides. Real quick, I'll point out how we got the front one in place was we measured from the top corner of our windshield right here up to the edge of our Evo, raised, Evo clamp foot for naked roofs, about 12 and 3 eighths of an inch on both sides. Again, make sure you get both sides even and as close to 27 and a half as possible. There we go. Now, our rubber coated hooks actually have to go under the weather stripping right here, and they include a little tool that you can use to wedge it in there and pull down that weather stripping to get the hook in. So, what I'll do is just kind of pull down and get my hook in and let it go just like that. We'll do that for both sides. And what I'm going to do is just start tightening down the bolt on the inside of my foot until I feel a little bit of tension. You'll kind of see the pad start pulling this way. That's when you want to stop. Just like that. Now we'll repeat this process for the other side. Now that we've done all that on both sides, we'll just make our way back and forth, tightening down our roof rack making sure to get it as even as possible. You don't want to over tighten one side that could pull it over unevenly. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we've made our way back and forth on both sides and we've got the other side fully torqued. This tool is going to let us know when it's fully tightened down by giving us a couple of audible clicks. Just like that. Or no, we're done. We'll go ahead and shut our door put our end cap on. Now it's never a bad idea to go ahead and grab a hold of both of your crossbars and then give the roof rack a good shake. Just make sure everything is secure. From there you're going to be ready to load up your favorite rooftop accessories and then hit the road. Well thank you all for watching but that's going to do it for our test fit of the Thule Wing Bar Evo roof rack system on our 2016 Mini Cooper.